For critical environments, the space being monitored can be a positive, negative, or neutral space. The user determines what kind of space is monitored with the alarm set points. A positive room will have an alarm set point slightly above zero differential pressure to some greater positive pressure. A negative pressure room will have alarm set points from less than zero differential pressure to a deeper negative pressure. A neutral room will have the high alarm set point in the positive pressure range and the low alarm set point will be a negative number. The SRPM monitors and alarms on pressure in one room only. Setting alarm set points. To set the alarms, press the menu button on the main screen. This will bring you to the setup menu. Once at the setup menu, press room to get to the screen to set up alarms. This is where you enter your alarm set points, lower limit and upper limit, which determine what kind of room you are monitoring, positive, negative, or neutral. Be sure to press save and exit after all changes are made. Alarm setup. To get to the alarm setup, press the menu button on the main screen. This will bring you to the setup menu. Once at the setup menu, press alarm to get to the screen to set up alarm parameters. Once at the alarm setup screen, you can set the parameters of the alarms outside of the actual set points. Latched alarm. Yes requires the pressure to return to normal and the alarm to be acknowledged before the alarm can be silenced and reset. No disables this feature. the audible alarm. Yes, enables audible alarm. There is also a visual alarm. No, disables audible alarm. Visual alarm stays active. Door alarm input. This is used when you're using a contact switch for the door. Door open will appear on the home screen and display will turn yellow. No, no contact switch on door being used. Mute timeout. Mute timeout can be set from zero to 9,999 seconds. This silences the alarm for a number of seconds when the latch alarm is in use, assuming the pressure stays out of range. Alarm delay. Alarm delay may be set from zero to 9,999 seconds. This is the number of seconds from the time that the room pressure goes out of the alarm set point limits until the alarm activates.
volume set to level one through four, where level four is the loudest and corresponds to a sound level of 85 decibels at four inches away. As always, be sure to press save and exit after all changes are made. Occupied versus no isolation. This basically determines if the room is being used or not. Press on the kind of room pressure that is displayed on the main menu. In this example, it is neutral. This is the room mode screen, where you can choose occupied or no isolation by simply pressing either word. If it is being used by a patient, for example, it should be in occupied mode. If, for example, the cleaning crew needs access, it would be in no isolation mode. In this mode, no alarm will sound. Be sure to press save and exit after all changes are made. This is how the main screen should look in no isolation. Remember, in this mode, no alarms will sound. Troubleshooting. I have a negative room, but the display is indicating positive room. Check the alarm set points. Make sure they correspond to the proper kind of room. Be sure the unit is plumbed correctly so that the high or positive port is plumbed to the room being monitored and the low or negative port is plumbed to the reference space. My unit is not alarming. Make sure the unit is not in standby or no isolation mode. The units will not alarm in either of these modes. Make sure to check the alarm set points. Is the pressure outside of these points? If not, it will not alarm. Check if the audible alarm is disabled. If so, there will be no audible alarm. My balancers are not getting the same pressure readings as the room monitors. Many times, balancers check the pressure under the door of a room, and it may not match that of the room monitors whose pressure pickups are somewhere else in the room. To compare correctly, the balancer's gauges need to be plumbed into the tubing of the room monitors to ensure you're comparing apples to apples.